Welcome to Fading Memories, a supportive podcast for those of us caring for a loved one with memory loss. Association. Sounds perfect. And then we're, you're also trying to get the Rotary Clubs involved with the walk, yes? Yes. And we have issued a challenge for that too. So <laughs> we'll, see how, we'll see how successful. Baby steps, because, you know, we moved the walk too. So Yes. Why? Well, I, um, I am speaking at our club in December. So like three months. So I can, I can bring my knowledge of the walk after participating this year and challenge them to add this, add us to the, to the, the list. Yeah, I get it. I think that's why we're talking to, um, you know, um, Rotary International, because if we can make this, um, I don't know that we would, I don't know how they do that with, with international, whether they would replace, um, polio or just add it um i wonder yeah. sometimes if they had known how long and how much money the polio eradication project was going to take if they would have undertaken it mm -hmm. i mean i don't think they expected it to be going on this long for 100 years <laughs> feels like it <laughs> i do know that our national office in chicago has been talking to them um, pushing pretty hard to have Alzheimer's as that next one. Um, and I know that, you know, the struggle with polio is that, you know, like this past year, I think there were like, what, seven documented cases. So it's kind of like defined eradicated because it probably will always maybe pop up. Well, there was, when I started in Rotary state. in 2010, mm -hmm. there was five countries with active polio. Right. And we now... Do you have not had active polio in Nigeria, I believe, for the last three years. So the entire continent of Africa is considered eradicated. But we keep, we were down to one, I think it was Pakistan, and then Afghanistan pops back in there because obviously, you know, that's a completely troubled part of the world. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, we're down to two countries. I mean, it used to be millions of people affected. Now it's a handful, so was a good undertaking but yes we could undertake alzheimer's that would be great well because at this point polio is a logistical problem right mm -hmm. i mean there, there is a there's a vaccine for polio and and you know and treatment and all of that whereas you know when you're talking about alzheimer's this, these numbers are growing and you know they're not going to go down until we have some sort of treatment or cure so you know it seems like if you really want to cause it you know that is really worth the heft that you get from rotary you know, this would be the challenge that they're looking for. 